Hi and welcome to our listing of the historic Bybee House just outside of Jacksonville. It's located at 4491 West Main Street in Medford. Come on in and let's check out the area. As you can see it has a beautiful brick courtyard, 100 year old canopy of walnut trees, historic water tower along with a fabulous building that you could use for commercial use or turn into guest cottages or just about anything you can think of. The Bybee House is nestled just outside the Y intersection of West Main and Hanley Road and Highway 238, which is the old Jacksonville Highway. This property is really fun. The owners have taken all kinds of pride in adding art and eclectic items that they've gathered from all across the nation. Let's go inside and check out the house. This house was built circa 1887 and one of my favorite parts of it is this big country farm kitchen. They've put in copper countertops which I think are just very interesting and cool. This country kitchen is the focal point of the house. It's got a big farm table area just off of the living room. Make great for entertaining. You can entertain outside in the patio courtyard area or just in the great large kitchen area. Just off the kitchen is the living room and the library area. It's separated by a wonderful fireplace. There's wood floors throughout the house. Lots of built-ins for books. As I said, this is a very artistic family and they've painted all kinds of fun things throughout the house. Let's go upstairs and see the two master suites that are upstairs. This house has been used as a bed and breakfast in the past, so these two master suites upstairs are just really wonderful for guests or for family members. As you can see, they've done some fun painting on the floors and the walls. This house is just fun. It's full of energy, full of life. Right off of this master suite, you have a nice view of the yard. And then the um, bathroom that is in here used to have a clawfoot tub in it, and one could certainly be replaced. There's plenty of room. It's a nice shower. It's fun paintings on the walls. They just really kept the charm of the home. This is the other master suite upstairs. I call this the red room. It has its own bathroom with a clawfoot tub also. It's a nice large room. From this window above the bed you can see the water tower. At 45 feet tall the tower is said to be the tallest in southern Oregon and the only one on the historic registry. Just outside that window is the courtyard and you can enjoy the sound of the water fountain out there. Let's take a look at the rest of the house. We're back downstairs again and now let's go in and see the master bedroom which is on the main floor. This is really a wonderful room that has a courtyard off of it also. It's very conveniently located on the first floor for easy living. Let's move on into the water tower area. This is totally a landmark in this area. People stop by all the time wanting to come in and see it. It's perfect for a bed and breakfast or some sort of an area where you would want the public to be drawn in just by the sight of it. As you can see, it's all about fun. Everything in here has been done to make you laugh, to make you feel like you're in a whimsical place. This living room area was used for the bed and breakfast when it was open. Let's go on up through the four floors and see what they have up here.
On the second floor of the water tower is the wonderful bedroom. It just sort of sits up in the canopy of trees, looking out over everything. It's just a nice, quiet place to be. Going on up to the third floor, we find a nice bathroom. It has a great jacuzzi tub. And look, you're way up in the canopy of trees, so you're basically taking a bath with the birds. And on the fourth floor is one of my favorite rooms. It's the map room. It's covered everywhere with maps. With windows on all four sides, you can see the whole valley from here. And it's got a fun light fixture made out of globes. This is the canopy of trees you see from up there. As you can see, we're on the outside looking in now. This is a view of the courtyard. There's the outbuilding that would make a great retail spot. There's the house, the water tower, the beautiful walnut trees. And here's the gazebo that's so much fun. This gazebo is a collection of um, materials that they collected from all over the United States. And this fun little um, compass that they made that sits at your feet to tell you which way you're going. The finial on top was collected by the owner also in New York. And it just sits out in the middle of the grounds where you can just enjoy an afternoon cup of tea or a glass of wine in the evening. One of the great parts about this property is its fenced garden. It is self-sustaining. It has lots of vegetables and fruit growing in here. It has herbs, all kinds of beautiful flowers also. Here's some bounty from the garden. This is one of my favorite shots of the historic water tower. I just love the fact that it just stands so proud in the middle of the grounds and all the lush vegetation that's around it just seems to make it even more prominent. One of the great parts about this property is that it's on 2.1 acres hidden behind mature cypress trees all the way around. This part of the property is wide open and vacant. It would make a great staging area for a wedding or a large um, event of some sort, big birthday parties or something like that. As you can see, there's all kind of fun outbuildings on the property. The arbor area over here would be a great staging place for a wedding. You would be looking up at the water tower. This is the actual front of the house where you used to take access from. But now it's just a nice wide open grassy area that you can just enjoy the front porch. This is definitely a magical place when it's lit up at night by soft lights and candlelight. The courtyard is beautiful. And as you can see, it just makes a very stunning entrance when you drive up to the property. This is our tour of the Bybee House. We hope you enjoyed it.